What's going on guys? Hi here. Quick video. Um, as me and my uh, friends were uh, dumpster diving on our lunch break um, around 2.30ish in the morning, um, well, we were in the dumpster. Well, my friend was in the dumpster, and we were around it, uh, going through bags and stuff and whatever. Um, the sheriffs um, showed up, or well, a sheriff and his car showed up, and uh, we ended up getting caught by him. Um, luckily, it's not a bad story. Uh, he uh, sat there for a minute, and because uh, he saw my uh, van parked there. And uh, then he kind of like backed up to the point where you couldn't see him. He was around the corner, and then all of a sudden, uh, he was. We seen him coming with his flashlight around the corner slowly. And my friend ran out there first, and uh, he was. Uh, he just asked, well, "What are we doing?" And he was like, "Oh, we're just dumpster diving." And uh, then I came up there as as he said that, and uh, he was like, "Oh, you guys find any uh, cool shit?" And I had found some movies, um, I'll tell you guys about in a minute. Um, and I showed it to him, and then, uh, really, it was, that was it. And then, you know, uh, he, uh, he thought, he just wanted to make sure, because I guess he said that uh, somebody, or some or a couple nights now, somebody's been trying to pry open the back door to, I like, guess, GameStop or Movie Stop. And uh, he was just checking to make sure. But, uh... You know, I didn't. I, I I know what people have told me, but I never heard it from a police officer myself. So my friend was like, "While you, while you're here, it's a good chance to ask you." And we asked him about it. He said it's not illegal for us to do it. We are trespassing, but he doesn't do anything about it. Only way is if you know, like the store owner is there, and, and he has a complaint. He calls the cops. I get a trespassing warrant. Um, but other than that, it's not. It's nothing wrong with it. Um, he was cool about it, and he was uh, checking out my phone. He was, oh, that's a big phone, blah blah blah. And uh, basically, I said that he was there probably for like ten minutes, and then he left. Um, so I'm just, it was a relief off my chest. So I know now that I ain't gotta worry about it. Um, I mean, I can take my time because even even when he was leaving, I was like, well, we're gonna go back to doing it. And he he was like, oh, that's fine, and do whatever. So. Um, yeah, the only thing he had mentioned is just, uh, you know, if just be careful with them. If they complain, then I can get a trespassing thing, blah, blah, blah. And um, only thing illegal is if I'm throwing stuff in their dumpster, like dumping my own trash in there. And I said I wasn't doing that, so that was it. So, I mean, not a bad story, but now I've been caught by the owners of, of a, a GameStop and the police. So, I ain't got to worry about it anymore. Um... I wish I had video for it, but uh, it caught us off guard. So, and I was had I was in a rush because we only had an hour lunch break. So, I hit up my normal game spot today. No, nothing was out there. Just some boxes. Um, people are sitting out on the front of it, I guess, because of the release tonight for the uh, game game for the Xbox One. Um, so then I went to a different GameStop one I normally don't go to because I was always worried about getting caught. But now I don't care. Um, I got a couple bags and I found a few things. Um, as a gift to you guys, whoever takes this, takes this. Um, it's the uh, Infamous Collection. I found a code and it says expired, but as Dr. Smitty and a lot of y'all uh, known, this they actually still work. So I don't know if this has been redeemed or not, but if you want Infamous Festival of Blood, um, Additional character costumes, additional weapon styles, extra missions, and additional power-ups. Um, this is what this code is for. So I'm not sure if it's for all the Infamouses or just the Infamous Festival of Blood, but either way, the Festival of Blood was a decent title that um, is online download only. So there's your code. Enjoy. And uh, found some Nintendo points for myself. I have a huge stack I gotta go through. And one thing is the Blockbuster right down the street from my store. I, I kept forgetting that 
you know, they're all of them are going out of business. So we went over there. The dumpster was empty. If we checked the right dumpster, and uh, there was two black bags by their back door, and there was a whole gaggle of cops. Like I guess they were hanging out, like as they were outside their car. So I didn't want to stay there regardless, because this was by their back door, and I didn't want to look suspicious and have to deal with it again. So I went through it quick. It had like a bunch of brand new sealed boxes of their um, membership cards, like the ones they laminate for you. I, I figured it ain't worth nothing and it's not going to be no memorabilia or anything like that. Excuse me. But, um, and then the other bag had stuff, I guess, was from their back room. It had like cleaning supplies and paperwork and there was a few wires. I couldn't really go through it, go through it. Um, it wasn't as easy as the GameStop clear bags. These were like black, like, um, hefty bags or whatever. So, uh, got, uh, like I said, I found a couple wires I took, and um, I found this, which is cool. I just I just tried it out. Um, this might be worth something down the road, or at least, like, something to keep memory of. Um, Blockbuster, um, it's like they're current. When you go into, like, the movie stop or the Blockbuster, they have all the TVs, and it shows previews and commercials and stuff. Well, it's an hour and ten minute long. Uh, DVD of previews, commercials, blockbuster promo stuff for uh, 04 2011. It has like Harry Potter, Deathly Hollows Part 1, Pirates of the Caribbean, A Stranger Tides, um, SOCOM, US Navy SEALs for the PS3, bunch of different previews on here. Um, it looks cool because it has like usually shows the name of the title, and anyways, you've seen it on there before, so. And, and it's cool what about it is when you put it in you can't use it unless you know a passcode for it and it's this little pin number you have to put in 1231 each disc I guess is different but to use it you'd have to know that and, and some people would just be like oh I don't know I can't use it so anyways I'm gonna keep I'm gonna hold on to that you know it's pretty cool and if you ever like I was thinking of the the uh, PS Vita thing right there that PS Vita um, display it, it'd be cool like to have something like this playing on that screen. Um, that's just my personal opinion. You can, you can program it to do whatever you want. Um, but I, I want, I'm trying to figure out is there a way to get that thing to maybe like, there's a USB port on it, so maybe I can hook up a external disk drive or something. I don't know. I'm gonna do something with it because I, I, the, the previews on it are okay, but eh. Eh, I don't know, but I'm glad I found this. I'm hoping to find more. I'm going to check it every night, as well as um, the GameStop. And so, uh, yeah, I found that. Um, I found the, on DVD, the Blade, uh, the Blade movie trilogy, whatever, Blade 1, 2, tri uh, Trinity, and then some, like, off-brand TV show, like season 1 of Blade something. Um, found that I, I gave it to a friend um, Will, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory just the discs only the special features disc and the movie disc and slipcover for Borat uh, I needed that for my movie to complete it so I have that it was like brand new I found the pre-launch poster for the Xbox One event I kept it because every other one I found was either like wet or ripped or whatever so I just added it to the poster box um, I'm trying to think of what else I found. Uh, like the the secret of the Dead Sea Scrolls or something, and it's like one of those um series where the DVD case looks like a like a a book that shows you like facts, like National Geographic book or whatever. But inside it has a DVD that you can watch as well and go along with the thing or whatever. You you when you buy them on TV, they come in like. Uh, volumes or some shit. Well, there was one in there in, in decent shape, so I just added it to my movie collection. Um, found one of those USB plugs that you plug your uh, USB cable in to charge. It was from the cell phone store. Um, and that's really about it. I noticed all the GameStops around me had a have this one pallet. It's like a little wooden pallet sitting in their uh, dumpster, and you. Um, that's the PlayStation um, 4 kiosk. Apparently, they all got them at the same time and had them installed or whatever. So, you can check your uh, GameStop if you want to go in there and try out the PS4 on their kiosk and everything. So, let's see what it looks like. 
So you know, down 10 years or so down the road, it might be in your living room like the one behind me. So, anyways, that's really about it. Um, I don't think I have to cover anything else. So uh, yeah, as always, guys, you know, thumbs up the video, like and subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, try uh, uh, check out the other videos I did too because I know I just posted two up yesterday, um, late night, um, about the stuff I found. I found better stuff than I did uh, this time around. So check those out, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.